Hey guys, that's your commander today, Ray Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. We have Chronicler Adeline. Her entire kit has been unveiled. And let me tell you guys, it's pretty bad. I think she's the worst champion chase loyalty program champion ever released inside the game. Personally, uh, I'll let you guys be the judge for yourselves. I think this is bad for the game for one reason, and I think it's a trap for another reason, but I'll share that after we take a look at her kit so you guys can decide for yourselves. On the A1 ability attacks one enemy, she has a 75% chance of of transferring a debuff to the target and a 75% chance of stealing when booked. On the healing script A2 ability, she restores 25% of allies destroyed max HP and then heals them 25% of her max HP on a three turn cooldown. On the writ of sleep, her A3 ability, 100% chance when booked to placing a sleep for one turn on the target. One target. Uh, also has 100% chance of placing a decreased speed and a decreased attack on the target for two turns. Debuffs placed by this skill will ignore block debuffs buffs three turn cooldown when booked perceptive perceived weakness or passive allies deal three percent more damage to targets for each debuff placed on them by this champion and she does have three debuffs in her kit so we can get a nine percent extra damage uh from our allies against the target her aura is accuracy in all battles by 60 so what do we think of this champion guys clearly she's meant to be some sort of a specialist for sand devil uh but is she good enough to even book, even for new players out there? And that's what gets into me calling her a bit of a trap. So at this point, you might be saying, Ash, you're overreacting. She's not that bad. Come on, man. Like, who cares? She can help people for Sand Devil at least, right? But then I asked myself, and I kind of slept on this. I, I received this information yesterday, and one champion came to mind. Yaga the Insatiable. This is a dude who requires a, a lot of books, but he's sold as a champion who provides poison, which is essential in the early game so here you are you can get them for free after day 15 or whenever you get yaga the insatiable the first month you're playing raid shadow legends uh so like hey look at this he places poisons book him out i fear that some players will do the same thing with chronicler adolin right they'll be like okay or adolin adolin i think right uh she places sleep. Yay! Uh, I should book her out and max her out. She's literally really only going to help you in Faction Wars and in uh, Sand Devil. And even Sand Devil, think about it, guys. As a new player, is it worth spending all of these legendary skill tomes for this free champion they're giving us, guys? Is it worth it? Uh, I would argue no. I don't think it's worth it. Now, I, I want to be clear. I have not played this champion. No one in the game has her at this point. No spotlights out there, even on the dev uh, build on her so i want to be clear about that i have not actually used her that being said i am very very underwhelmed by that kit think about that kit guys where are you going to use that outside of sand devil right so I guess if you're really struggling with Sand Devil, you could consider booking her out, I guess. But I mean, we have Muck Stalker, who's a, a hundred times better sleep uh, applier, and he's a campaign farmable rare champion. And you know, that makes it basically that we're just investing in her for the heal and the passive that seems like it's kind of thrown onto the kit to say, hey, this is really underwhelming for a legendary. We should add some sort of passive here. That's the way I feel about her passive personally. I will have a, f a full play test here on the channel. I can't recommend that players go out there, even newer beginner uh, or intermediate players, and fully book and max her out. Take it slow. Make sure you really think about, is this what I need on my account before you invest, as we say about every legendary in the game. The reason it's bad for the game, and again, I might be being a little hyperbolic here, but the fact is a fact, right? If in case you missed yesterday's video they did announce that this loyalty uh champion unlike like a ninja unlike an archer queen not that she was loyalty but she's not exclusive she's not restrictive meaning that she's going to be in the shard pool after this you know the seven day login event is over and i can just already i can already feel it i can already read the comments yeah i pulled during the 2x event ash and guess who i got chronicler adeline Dude, no one's going to be excited about pulling a Chronicler Adeline. She watered down a pool, a champion pool, during a time that power creep is the most pervasive it's ever been in the game. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, between awesome fusions, awesome mythicals, and power creep everywhere legendary that they release, I actually just, I just pulled from one sacred shard yesterday. I got my hands on the new high elf, and he's unbelievable. Wall master. Expect a guide in the next few days here. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is, everybody's getting better but they added a really really 
bad, I think. Legendary champion for free, and then now she's going to be littering our, our champion pool forever every time that we open shards. Yay to that. Listen, guys, glass half full. At the end of the day, a free champion is a free champion. If you don't like her, if you don't want to max her, don't go ahead and do so. I would recommend you at least proceed cautiously, as I said uh, earlier. Also, guys, hey, there's the Raid Community Awards. All you got to do is log in on the news and, hey, content creator of the year, I'm up for content creator of the year. Look at that, along with Scratch Hell Hades and Nub Raids. Uh, hey, vote for me if you want to. I would I would probably give it to I'd probably give it to Nub Raids personally. He's over there right now repping the uh, community, repping Raid Shadow Legends. So I'm gonna give him my vote. But hey, I'm up for it, and that is a honor uh personally, uh, you know, to, to, to even be in that conversation. So, guys, let me know what you think of this free legendary champion, and uh, I'll see you in the comments below. Much love, and as always, take care, guys.